Hello students, this is Punam teacher back with a new video of general science. In our last video, we have discussed about valency and electronic configuration. And in this video, we shall deal with isotopes. So what are isotopes? Isotopes are the atoms of the same element with same atomic number and different atomic mass number. We all know that atomic number is of prime importance because uh, on the basis of atomic number itself it decides the electronic configuration on the electronic configuration we decides the valency so atomic number is a fundamental property of an element now the atoms of the same element with same atomic number but different atomic mass number are known as the isotopes and here the isotopes of carbon are given carbon c12 c13 and c14 so now if they have the same atomic number that means all the isotopes will have same number of protons and electrons then what is going to be the different thing in the isotopes it is going to be the number of neutron which is going to be different into the isotopes because of which the mass number will change and that is why the isotopes will have same atomic number but different atomic mass number just have a look at the table here it is carbon 12 that means c12 isotope of carbon its mass number is 12 that is mass number is indicated by letter a capital a its atomic number is 6 and you can see that this atomic number is uniform in all the cases in all the isotopes that means atomic number remains constant but the mass number is that which changes it is just because the number of neutrons in each isotope is different if you calculate the number of neutrons as i've taught you the how to calculate the number of neutrons neutrons is equal to atomic mass number minus atomic number so if when, uh, when you minus or when you make the difference between the atomic mass number and the atomic number you get the number of neutrons so in every isotope you will get that the number of neutron is different in uh, C12 it is 6, in C13 it is 7, in C14 it is 8 and how you have calculated this 12 minus 6 is 6, 13 minus 6 is 7, 14 minus 6 is 8. So this is how you have to calculate the number of neutrons by making a difference between the atomic mass number and the atomic number. So I repeat that the isotopes are the atoms of the same element with same atomic number but different atomic mass number and here you can complete the table. The isotopes of various uh, elements are given over here like hydrogen and uh, chlorine. Here it is hydrogen with atomic mass number 1 and atomic number 1. So the pro number of proton will not change in all the cases. Here it will be 1 again. The number of neutron is going to be 0 because atomic mass number minus atomic number what is the mass number one what is the atomic number one so one minus one is zero so here you have to write zero so this is the isotope of hydrogen protium then we can move towards the next isotope of hydrogen with atomic mass number two and atomic number one because atomic number is not changing proton the number of protons is 1 because atomic number is 1 that means the number of proton is 1 but mass number is 2 then you have to calculate the number of neutrons how you will calculate you will make a difference between the atomic mass number and the atomic number so 2 minus 1 is 1 so here it is 1 now we will move towards the next isotope of hydrogen and that is going to be tritium with atomic mass number 3 and atomic number 1 so the number of proton is 1 how you can calculate the number of neutron 3 minus 1 is 2 so this is how the number of neutrons will change into the acetose but the number of protons or the electrons will remain constant if we talk about the atom of different element like chlorine there are two isotopes of chlorine chlorine 35 and chlorine 37 so here the proton number is going to be constant that is 17 here also 17 there is no change into the number of protons because atomic number do not changes into isotopes it is only the mass number which changes here the mass number is 35 here it is 37 and now you need to calculate the number of neutrons so how you will calculate 35 minus 17 so what is 35 minus 17 it is 18 right so the number of neutrons into carbon 35 is 18 now we will calculate the number of neutrons into carbon 37 
So 37 minus 17 is 20. So you, here we will write 20. So this is how you need to calculate the number of neutrons. I repeat that into the isotopes, the number of the, atom, the atomic number is going to be constant, but the atomic mass number is going to be different just due to the difference into the number of neutrons. Now there are various uses of isotopes into various fields like in the, uh, into various fields such as industry, chemical industries, agriculture, medicines, research, research fields and so on. Now uranium-235 is a radioactive element. It is used for nuclear fission and for the production of electricity. Whenever we talk about a nuclear power plant, into the nuclear power plant, this kind of isotopes are used for generation of electricity. Because when this uranium-235 is bombarded with any neutron, it emits lots of energy. And then that energy is used for the production of electrical energy or electricity. So uranium-235 is a radioactive isotope which is used for the generation of electricity. Then some radioactive isotopes like cobalt-60 are used into the treatment of cancer. See cancer is treated into various states. First the surgery will take place in the chemotherapy and the radiation. So the radiation will consist of the cobalt-60 rays. And then those rays will be destroying the tumors present into the body. So this is how cobalt-60 will play a very important role. It is a radioactive element and it will play a very important role into the treatment of cancer. Iodine-131 is useful into the treatment of goiter. Goiter is a disease of a thyroid gland. So if we use iodine-131, this is a radioactive isotope, it will clear that disease of thyroid gland. It will clear that goiter and the hormone thyroxine will be secreted into proper amount if we use iodine-131. So this is how this is a, a, radioact a radioactive isotope iodine-131 which is useful into the treatment of goiter. Then radioactive isotopes are also useful for detection of cracks into the underground pipes. So sodium-24, it penetrates a very little. The penetrating power of sodium-24, it is a radioactive element. So the gamma rays which are emitted from sodium-24 uh, have very little penetrating power but it helps in detection of the cracks into the underground pipes. So this is how sodium-24, a radioactive isotope, is useful for the detection of cracks into the underground pipes. Then radioactive isotopes are also used for the food preservation from microbes because the gamma rays which are emitted from the radioactive isotopes, it kills the microbes and it preserves the food. The radioactive isotope C14 is used for determining the age of archaeological objects. So with the help of radioactive isotope C14, we can determine that how old any historical object is. So these are some of the uses of isotopes. Rest of the things we shall discuss in the next video. Thank you.